Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell with part two in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and I've got some colors to use up and some tools to play with, maybe, <laughs> close by, I hope so. And um, I'm just going to drop and keep dropping all of the paint that came out of my silicone ice cube tray up in my sky because it's a very surreal piece and expecting anything other than surreal at this point would be foolish on more parts than just my own. It's hot, it's time to go in, it's time to load up the art supplies for tomorrow's class. I kind of want to throw a few more colors in my pan of colors before I start adding them over here, but it's time to uh, it's time to take anything that is still in the silicone ice cube tray and add it to the pan of colors and then get busy with that pan of colors. So that is what I'm doing over here. <laughs> Don't think a few more of those turquoise things are going to hurt anything. It occurs to me I don't even know what this looks like from the other side much as I go along. I'm kind of quiet because I've never done this exactly before and I wasn't expecting to make a forest when I started. But it's okay because this is all going in the bucket now. Except for the stuff that I have to force myself to scrape out because I can't stop. <laughs> Here we go, in the bucket. Now I'm home and safe. Alright, my turn to look. Now what can I use to make little tiny dots? I want a lot of purple. I want a lot more green. And I have a good idea of the purple that I want, and it is where. That's not it. That will work right there. Maybe, just maybe, some more of this pink. Yeah, that'll make me happy. Figure some of it's going to get covered up, which sounds a little bit like wastefulness, but I want. What else do I want up there? Do I want some red? I might. Magenta more than red. The crazy forest. And it is a crazy forest. Full of rectangular leaves, for one thing. But they're kind of cool. So it's really supposed to be more about my little scoop. But right at the moment, it's a lot handier to have a uh, handle on my tool, which is the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst. Oh, what's it called? Mini Tool. I better be a lot more careful than I am because I'm beginning to mix colors and I don't think I'm going to want to see all those mixed colors. Although they're kind of neat before they get mixed. I'm inclined to just tip it all down, but I don't think that's going to work as well as I wish it would. So I'm just going to keep filling this in. It's different. It's not what it started out to be, that's for sure. The other, the flower garden version of this is uh, my preference so far. That could change. That often changes. Sometimes it takes me uh, at least overnight to fall in love with something I've done. That's why, before you guys let yourself get too awful frustrated with the way things are turning out, give them a chance to like settle and, and give yourself a chance to like them. It's mostly, you know, the so much accidental art, you shouldn't be allowed to judge yourself too harshly, too quickly. I wonder what else I need in there. 
I kind of think more orange. I'm getting more stripes out of here and I'm happy about it than uh, if I tried to throw the paint away by calling it brown because there's a lot of blue. Some other, that's what's missing. There's some major blue missing. Let's find some blue. Some really nice shiny couple, couple nice shiny. And maybe some more of that dark purple. I think so. I'm liking the little black negative spaces. They're not hurting my feelings at all. I did warn you guys, I do often use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas to add some some mark making abilities with. I just wasn't really expecting to have to do it quite this quickly. Now, if I pounce that and keep pouncing it, I'm going to make some really wild texture. And it either will or it won't work. And I think it will. So it's worth the risk. That's an annoying noise. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go over here. And maybe leaning. Really? Maybe holding it down <laughs> will help. Alright, I'm going to try and do this one handed. I'm going to steal a little paint here and there and everywhere. And let everything just become somewhat joined. And then in the end, if I still don't like what I have, I will add some dots or dashes of gold or white or red or, excuse me, probably, probably more likely orange than red. But pouncing better than scraping and, and or swiping. I like the fact that when I use the metallics, I I'm, if I get anything that's mud or mud-ish, <laughs> that's not a word. If I get something that's mud-ish, <laughs> it's still metallic and shimmery and beautiful. The nice thing about twirling around and tapping my tool, stop that. <laughs> it can't stop that, is that um, it looks like branches in between the leaves. Too. So that's kind of a neat effect. I really actually am beginning to enjoy this very much. I'm not enjoying the tap 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 of the painting on even on the canvas, but other than that, I'm enjoying it very much. It makes me want to put some more green in there, and I think that's necessary. I might have to do. Yeah, I think so. I kind of don't mind it on this end either. <laughs> a little quick blend for some highlights, you know? I could probably put some yellow in there too. Okay, back to one-handed pouncing. kind of wants the gold. I like the gold. Will we be done? Should I just start to tell you now? <laughs> because at, at some point I'm just going to want to quit doing this for you because it's obnoxious as I hold on to the canvas. Um, I have an Amazon link. It's under the video. It, uh, it has my book called Because I Can, which is the first hundred videos from YouTube that I recorded. And shares with you the tools and the links, the playlists, techniques, photographs of all the dry artworks. Must be time to empty the trash when a plastic wrapper from a canvas comes blowing across your feet. I thought I emptied the trash. 
So what other color do I want in there? And how far down do I want to go with my little pounces? That's still pretty cool. I like I like the texture, and I don't mind the um, the, the weird color on my spatula breaking up the chunks of color that are up there. I'm not thrilled with that noise. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mean to get so tweaked. It's really hot out here. I'm ready to be done. This is not exactly what I had in mind, as I might have mentioned, but I'm liking what I've got, which I may have also mentioned. And so none of that is really a bad thing. It's really all a good thing. It's all good. It does make me want to add some turquoise. It does make me want to just continuously add all kinds of cool stuff, actually. But what am I going to do? Take some of that turquoise and put it in here. We don't have too many trees without too many tree limbs, I should say. That's something interesting. That is some interesting texture. I don't want to stick my fingers in the trees at the bottom. Almost done. So where was I? I told you guys about the Amazon link. So under the video you can find my paint pouring recipe and Pinterest and Instagram links. And uh, if you're looking for a Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. And I'm almost ready to finish um, the albums on the Fans and Collectors page. Uh, I've, I've started to catch up on the 150 photographs I was behind editing because they take quite a bit of time apiece. Anyway, I love you guys. There's over 77,000 of you today. And uh, I got a couple places to touch up on my bottom, right there. And I could probably fill in with something, but I think that black negative space there is not a bad thing. I'm gonna pull that over. I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna say I love you again. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. Come on. At Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. I might take a few minutes to look at a few things. There's a chance. I got three minutes left. Maybe I should just keep talking to you. That way I might find my crib sheet. Oh, look, I found my crib sheet. <laughs> cool. I like that turquoise over the top. I'm not minding that brownish. It's pretty cool. It, lo it really looks like it belongs there. Um, I am going to take some of the paint in my container and just tap it on the top to make a cohesive element, especially if I can get some color other than that purple brown. I might have to look around and see if there's anything that doesn't belong that's anomalous, lumps, and remove them. Might have to add the odd branch here and there. But overall, that's pretty neat. I That doesn't look like anything I've seen before. Exactly. And I am pretty much ready to tell you guys whatever I didn't tell you before, and it looks like I told you everything. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill. I might have mentioned that. I do whenever I can remember. I have one tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Meeting Kathy. He's driving down from Orlando. We're going to have a ball. And what else? What else is over there? Um, I have a playlist on the end screens with over 765 videos. Pretty sure. So if you feel like binging and you want to do me a favor, watch some of the commercials too because that tells the YouTube algorithm that you think that I'm viable, valuable, and you want to see more of my videos. And 
By telling the YouTube algorithm that, that means that I have a better chance of coming back here and continuing on doing what I'm doing all the time, which is attempting to bring you guys a video every day. I wonder if I can put... Yes, I can. I can fill in with some texture at the bottom with leftover paint, some of which has some nice turquoise, and most of which is just making a shadowy texture. I could steal some paint and do that too. But I'm pretty pleased with myself. I used up most of the paint I wanted to use up. I might be sorry I filled that in. I kind of like that black, that black space there. I could go into those trees and spiral some stuff out. Matter of fact, it's a very tempting idea. Almost done. That means you guys are almost done. And if I wanted anything down here, yes, and she did it upside down. I wonder if I could just. irreverent. Alright you guys, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, that was kind of fun. It was a little tedious, but it was a lot of fun too. If you want to ask me any questions, ask me questions. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you uh, want to know, I love your comments, so keep on making them. And your appreciation makes my day every time. If you contribute, you will be entered in a contest. The PayPal and Patreon links are underneath the video. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm just dipping a skewer and pulling up the bottom. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. I think it probably had some better stages, but I'm not minding it either. I need to have some fun. And I'm going to torch this. And you guys are going to be gone. And I love you guys. I don't think I need spirals in there. Looks like I got a. Looks like I've got a little bit of orange in there, and I want some more. So if you're gone, you're gone. And uh, I'll see you soon. Good. It's a little random, but that's okay.